Yep, they're retaliating. Oh, and they retaliated on the other side of my walls. Oh god. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay, this is a lot. This is a lot. Welcome back to my little bungalow. This is Jim. Don't worry about the things leaking out of Jim. Me and Jim are going to go on a journey today. I think our best bet is probably to head to a cave on the coast. And see if that will give us anything we're looking for. And the closest one seems to be the northern coast cave all the way up that way. So that's where we're going to start our day. Oh, Jesus. Hi, Kelvin. We sitting on the job again, dude? There are probably safer locations to take a nap. Sir, just a heads up. That that might swing and hit you in the face. That's not good. All right, Kelvin. You stay hard at work on your day off. And I am going to go for a little ride. All right, if my calculations are correct, we probably want to go straight. We take a right, and then we go straight again. Or we go back the way we came, upside down, around, left, right, up, down, B-A, B-A, and we should be good to go. Oh, I forgot this thing has GPS, man. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, this makes it a lot easier. Oh, Jesus. Okay, define easy, though. I'm not the best golf cart driver in these parts. Kelvin might be better, and he's deaf. And dumb? Does he have, like, CTE? Is that what it is? Or does he have, like, just, like, internal brain hemorrhaging? And I'm just making him carry logs one by one. I mean... If you need an excuse not to work, internal brain hemorrhaging is probably the best best excuse possible. Hey sir, I can't come into work today. I have internal brain hemorrhaging. Too bad, walk it off, rub some dirt on it. You need to be here to sell clothes made in children's factories. Okay. Okay, watch out. Get out of the way. Okay, well I didn't expect them to, <laughs> to explode. We should be about at the halfway point now. No gas stations for snacks yet, unfortunately. I guess I could have ate that person that I hit. But I really don't want to go into cannibalism yet, even though I already have. I made some arm and leg soup the other day. It was very viscous. Not a fan, but if I have to, I will. We are coming up to what seems like a... It's like another... It's another mass grave. I'm going to wear your bones. You guys did not go in vain. Don't you worry. But maybe I can just... Ghost ride the whip? Try to just... Mm, no! Okay. The ghost riding the whip was not the play. Into the ocean. Careful. We need this to get back. It's rather useful. No! No! Oh, there it is. We're good. Someone built this gar golf cart out of titanium. All is fine. Only the finest golf carts for this island. Oh. And oh god. That's... Alright. Well, I guess this is where we're parking it. I think the valet will be able to get that, right? Put it in the garage for me. At least it'll get some sunlight and charge up a little bit more. All right. There's a cave here. Which was our goal. Definitely looks a bit coastal. If I was a rebreather or Aquaman, I would probably live in this cave. Because look. Ocean. Cave. Ocean. Cave. And for people that didn't pick it up yet. Ocean. Cave. All right. Let's go in. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. <sighs> Will I ever not get scared by that? I mean, I think it's been nearly a decade of getting scared by bats in this damn game. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. Fuck you. I'm going in. Whoa, what the? There's a laptop here? And some dead people. Are we good, fam? There's nothing immediately around the corner. There's skulls. Some more ammo. Definitely gonna need that. What is this about? 
Puff Corp outbids Sahara Therapeutics for Remote Island. Location of items still unknown. Lawyers are under strict NDA regarding sale. High stakes, high rewards. Therapeutics responds. Okay. Because Therapeutics, I think, was the first game. So now Sahara owns it. They purchased it. But what is this about? Entertainment bunker? What? The hell? They're giving me a bunch of ammo, guys. This is... Not usually the best case scenario. When a game starts handing you ammo and heals and armor and stuff, usually it means things are about to go a bit sour. So before we go in, need to have my delicious treat. Don't look at it. It's delicious. It just doesn't look that way. Of course, one bite. Everybody knows the rules. Grab one of these. And a little sodi pop. The healthiest meal imaginable. At least if I can't stab the cannibals, I can just diarrhea all over them. Because that's pretty much what I just ate. And this is the last bone armor that I can make. We need to find more duct tape in order to get more of that rocket and rolling. But we have an extra half of a health bar to do this. Alright, let's hope that this is uh, what we were looking for. It did say we have a new location on our map. But unfortunately, we won't be able to check that out until we're out of the cave because there's absolutely no reception in here. Huh. A little piece of glebe. A little gloob glebe on the roof there. Um, hello. There's bats. Can't wait to get scared again. Bats and bones. Yep, yep. Called it. There's a bunch of fingers. Whoa. Okay, one of them touched my tongue. What is going on? Oh, my flashlight's blinking. I just got scared. Just for my flashlight blinking. Why am I playing this? Oh my god. Um. Oh, lovely. A couple pieces of... Just meat. We don't really know what kind of meat, but it's it's meat. It might be feet. It might be feet meat. Also need to keep my eye on the ceiling, because they do like to sleep on the ceilings we land. It's actually quite bright down there, which is nice. Flashlight should recharge itself as long as we have batteries. And it looks like there is a finger licking good guy right there. Nope, it's not a finger licker. That's just a big cave boy. Oh gosh. Oh sweet Jesus Lord. That's a very big cave boy. It's like if Shaquille O'Neal became a cannibal. I don't like that. Uh, maybe we could headshot him? I don't know if a headshot with a spear is going to be enough, unfortunately. Oh god, there's a lot in here. Hmm, maybe we could bait him to the corner. Try not to make noise, because they listen quite a bit. They're very blind. But they're not deaf. Tell you that much. I went over there's spitting up on the walls. This actually feels like a pretty good opportunity for one of those. That might land. It might be perfect. Nice. Yep. I got two of them with that. Beautiful. Then this guy. Go for the legs. Then the head. And you get him. Just like that. Okay. Look at me. I don't need Aquaman. Who needs Aquaman when you got Royal Man, you know? I got one last guy right here. Little oblivious. He's looking for someone. There's a fish right here. Don't mind if I do. Kelvin's usually the one that fishes for me, but your ugly mug will work. There you go. Okay, you just took one to the chest and one to the head. That should be a double tap. I learned that from fighting zombies. I don't know why it doesn't work against you. But Jesus Christ, man. Just go down. Just go down. Just accept it. Accept your fate. Alright, buddy? So now here lies the problem. We have a left and then a right. That looks deep and creepy. That's got a cross on it. 
Usually cross means salvation. I'm gonna go deep and creep. Let's see what's in the deep creep. But we also need to remember we can go back to that and take that turn, because we want to explore every nook and crevice of this absolute freaking shithole. It looks like another swimmy spot. I really hope there aren't any swimmy cannibals that are gonna grab my leg. The floaty does make it look a little bit cuter in here. It gives me a sense of childhood. Creepy Oozy Cave number three. I love what you've done with the place. It is stunning. Gorgeous. I definitely need your interior decorator. Um, and now we're getting claustrophobic. Lovely. Just put everything in here. That scares me. Ooh. We got some stuff down there. A couple of arms. Don't mind if I do. Anything on the ceiling? No, but there are sharks in the water. Oh my god. But, would you look at this? This is exactly what I was looking for. We got the rebreather backpack. All you have to do is think, you know? Water, rebreather. Rebreather, water. Got a little watch, a little drinky. We can get some electronics off of that computer there. Some more cloth, molotovs, as if I'm going to burn the shark in the water. It's trying to gear me up for burning the shark. I don't see the shark anymore. I'm trying to... There he is. I'm not sure I want to use my spears for this, because I don't know if he's going to just swim away. So this might be a bow scenario. I think I hit him there. Yep, definitely did. You trying to get me? Good luck getting me, dude. I'm right here. Problem with sharks is where there's one, there's more. That one seems to be dead. He's floating to the top. Do you have a friend? What are you doing in here anyway? You just eat cannibals that just wander into the lake on accident? It's kind of rude, man. It's kind of rude. All right, Jesus. Don't let me down now. I feel like Jesus is about to let me down. Wow, there's an upside-down cross after that one. That's not a good sign. Usually, that means demons. And there's arms coming from the walls. And more splooge everywhere. Okay, the bats really sound like tippy tappies coming from behind me. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. Oh. Who's this? That doesn't look like a cannibal, right? I'm... Hmm. Okay. Maybe it's one of the missionaries or something? Okay, more hanging people. Oh god. Oh god. What am I hearing? Those are some large bones. I would like to break these right here, see what's going on. I just want to make sure... We're not about to wake something up. Here we go. Still haven't found any more duct tape for more armor, unfortunately. Maybe the Jesus... Oh gosh, oh gosh, yep, yep, see? I was gonna say, maybe the Jesus freaks were... Duct tape salesmen, but something tells me that they weren't. Okay, he just jumped that. Freaking Neo. You guys watch The Matrix in here quite often? Probably watch The Matrix on repeat. That's what I would do if I lived in this shitty cave. Okay, problem is, can't block with the spear. Okay, we also can't aim with the spear, either, apparently. Okay, we're just getting sweeped. We're sweeping. We're getting sweeped. Are you behind me now? Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Don't we worry. Don't you worry. All is good. Molotov would probably help here. Let's try a heavy swing. I missed. I missed. 
Thank God we built armor. Can I get into like a corridor that they're a little too fat to get through? Heavy swing ready? Okay, so you gotta charge the heavy swing and get it ready to go. There we go, nice. It's still not easy to hit. But, there we go. Aha, I might- oh, I thought I had you stuck. And then you freaking horse gallop that shit. There we go. One down. Might be able to finish this guy off. Let me take that real quick. Pull that out of your head. Where are you, bud? You going back to see your dead friend? Ugh. I might have got him with that. <sighs> okay. Let's see if we can recover all of our spears now. Lost a bit of our armor doing that, but... All is good. I didn't think I made any noise, but I guess I did. They heard me coming from a mile away. Could have been from breaking the boxes, to be honest. But I have avenged the random lady who is dead on that rock. You're welcome. Alright, now what were these guys defending? Let's find out. I hear another one. Does he hear me, though? Doesn't sound like he hears me. Okay. It's Saggy Sagittarius. Right there. And we got Splugosaurus. Okay. Sagittarius needs to go down first. So let's do one of those. <gasps> Wait, that might have been enough. No, nope, it wasn't. One in the butthole. One in the face, one in the stink. I think that's something, right? The problem here is, is she going to be pissed and figure out where I am now? Oh yeah, I think she's pissed and knows where I am now. Wait, maybe not. Maybe not. Nope, she's a little lost. Which is a perfect opportunity. For me to light them on fire. Oh god. There you are. That should be enough. There's no way you're taking one in the face, one in the stinker. And then you're not gonna burn to death from the Molotov. That's what I thought. Because I need these. I need those back. Thank you. And this is where I sweep the leg, hit the head. Sweep the head. Sweep the leg. Hit the head. Sweep the leg. Sweep the leg. Sweep the leg. Oh god. Oh gosh. Sweep the leg. Hit the head. Hit the head. Hit the head. Hit the head. Oh gosh, okay. Need that stam to come back. Oh Jesus. We're good, we're good fam. Sweep the leg. Hit the head. Hit the head. Hit the head. Hit the head. Oh my Jesus, you are a strong one. Oh, oh, there goes an armor. Sweep the leg. Hit the head. Oh my Jesus. And then I need to wear you. Beautiful. Got one of our armors back. Eventually, we're going to be wearing nothing but creepy cannibals. What's this? Hand grenade? Oh god, I hear something. I don't think, does he know I'm here? Let's see. Watch, see this? God damn, man. Double caked up. On a Thursday? A Thursday afternoon. I hear music over here. What the hell? What is that baiting me to, though? And did that guy behind me just hear that? Question? I need answers. Hello? Oh, great. Babies. My favorite. There's a lot of twists and turns in this cave. And this one definitely involves babies. The worst thing to ever come out of these caves, hands down. Change my mind. You can't. These things are awful. 
Here we go. One baby down. Another baby down. Baby number three, down and out. Baby four. Goodbye. Now the question is, what were the babies defending? Maybe they're defending their swimmies? What is that? Ew. Alright, I'm gonna kinda go slowly. Who are you? What is this? What's lighting up? Oh, stun gun, yes. Nice, with ammo. What is that? Are we good? I think we're good. Huge. Massive find. This thing is gonna come in handy. That's for sure. But this is like the edge of... <gasps> That's disgusting. Okay. I don't... I don't like that one bit. Alright. Um... Let's see what was around the other turn. <laughs> Hopefully not that thing. That thing is like wait, making what sounds like whale noises. Which I do not like. I am not a fan of. We gotta remember that there is still a tickle pickler back here. A little tickle pickler that likes to splooge all over the walls. I don't know if I'm better off taking him out. He might be blocking my path right now. God, he's still caked up, man. I thought he would have given up on the cake. But I guess the cake chooses you, man. You know? You don't choose the cake. Oh, he sees me. And again, sweep the leg. Hit the head. Oh, this one's a little weaker, it feels like. Just a little. We just hit him with a dodge. And sweep the leg. Here we go. I want a better spear, man. Spears seem to be my thing. At the moment. Alright. What up, dude? The little jumpsy. Another leg sweep. Don't mind if I do. There we go. And he's dead. Oh no. Can I get my spear? I can. And I can get his skin. Beautiful. We made it to... Whatever the hell this is. <laughs> There's a... Blocked area here. Are they trying to block things out or keep things in? That's my question. Let me in! Um, oh. 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 Oh, good grief. That... Looks like trouble down there. Alright, well, if I know anything about cave diving, it's this. Oop, well, you have to light the flare before you throw it. Um, yeah, that looks deep. That looks very deep. That looks extremely deep. Um, well, you know, here goes nothing. Here goes actually nothing. We have the handgun if this gets a little south. But holy... wow. This... alright, well... I'm not climbing this thing, right? That is extremely deep. There's some crates down here. What are we getting? You guys got any duct tape in these crates, please? I need duct tape. No duct tape. Duct tape must be a commodity on this island, because it doesn't exist. And let's see what this deep ass cave has to offer. More dead skeletons. Lovely. I'm gonna go right for now. Everything in the box to the right. It actually is a bunch of boxes to the right. Okay, cool. More crosses this way. And more heads and legs and skeletons and arms and ooh. Look at that. 
Oh, we can make a cross now. We found a recipe. It's like a lit up cross. That's cool. But why would we see? Yeah, that's not good. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. What is... What are they trying to keep out? You know? I don't think they're trying to keep things in. I think they're trying to keep things out. But what? Is there no coming back from here? I don't like that. I don't like that. Whoa. Man-made structures. What is going on here? What the hell? Do I touch it? There's nothing evil in here? I'm gonna touch it. What is this? I don't... A piece to something? A cauldron? A piece of hair? A statue? Huh. Okay. It was on a pedestal, and it was zapping. Does it say what it is in my inventory? Nope, question mark. One of seven. Okay. Well, one piece of the Duma Hickey has been found. What's the other way? Uh, but touch my tongue. I don't know why I was opening my mouth while walking through a bunch of skeletons. But sometimes, it happens on accident, okay? I've made it back to the shark-infested watering hole. Because I want to go in now. Um, I'm really hoping there's an asterisk on the infestation part and that there was only one shark. But I guess it's time to nut up or shut up and find out, shall we? Where's my rebreather? There it is. Alright. Rebreather's on. I have a pistol, not that I think it's gonna do anything in here. There's the dead shark. And we need to just try to find a way down here. Maybe this direction? That looks like a cave. Oh gosh. This is scary. I don't like anything about this. This cave has been crazy. We we saw a random facility. Got a stun gun and a piece to something. A piece to some magical stuff that likes to sizzle up some electricity. I'm hoping that this will shoot me out of the cave somehow. And then, oh, yep, okay. That looks like sunlight. If I've ever seen it. Are we in the ocean? Oh my gosh, it shot me out in the ocean? That's not good. There are definitely sharks out here. I see how a shark got in there now. But like, where on the map are we? Are we right next to where we went in? Oop, there goes a the bullet. <laughs> Gosh, those things are limited too. Yeah, so look at that. It brought us right out to where we were. I parked my golf cart here, perfect. So it says we have something new on the map. Yeah. I actually see it. It's blinking right next to my base. But first, I gotta check to see if the valet parked my golf cart somewhere new for me. But it doesn't look like the valet service is still running on this island. Oh, wait, no, they definitely parked it a little deeper. But I don't think that's gonna help me. I got this little puppy now, though. I definitely want to try it on the next guy that thinks he can. And I'm going to show him that he can't with this puppy. And I'm being followed by mud people. Oh gosh, okay, there goes that. And I'm going to hit you with a stun gun. And then how about just a nice little heavy attack to finish you off on the ground. Is that enough? Do you have a head anymore? Oh god, that's a regular cannibal. That's not good. I do not want to cause troubles with a camp nearby. Go give him a hug, raccoon. Tell them I, I, I mean no harm, even though I mean all the harm in the world, but still tell them. They won't believe me. But it'll, it'll, it'll distract them for the time being. Oh Jesus, what the f- Oh my god, he just came out of the water. At night, oh my god, I just pissed myself, dude. 
I thought it was an alligator. I got very scared. My toes almost got tickled. Honey, I'm home. How was your day off, Kelvin? Was your day off good? Good solid day off, yeah? Ah, yes. A very good day off indeed for Kelvin. Look at all this. This will make my humble abode real cute. Thanks for all of the, the day off. Kelvin. He always gets days off. He's a lazy man. Alright. The problem in here lies that I did just go into their cave, so they might be a little pissed. They might not let me sleep. So I'm gonna light this fire over here. Actually, I think Kelvin might have covered up the fire with the logs. That's okay, Kelvin. I'll let this one slide on your day off. Uh, let's just, um, okay, let's just see what happens. Maybe they'll let me sleep, maybe they won't. Yep, okay. I thought so. They're not letting me sleep. There they are. Oh, they're wearing gold? Um, oh, and armor. Oh, oh, sweet lord, what the f- How's that? Yep, how's- How's that? How's that feel? Okay, she dodges. She dodges, and uh, how about dodge that? How's that feel? Dodge that. Yeah? Jesus Christ, that's a- that's a new one. There we go. Oh wait, I think I got it right in the eyeball. Are they sending like- are these like assassins? These remind me of like Assassin's Creed assassins. There was another one. What looked like it was heading towards Kelvin. Oh god, I hear screaming across the lake. And I see a little bit of lit- some, some fire or something in the woods there. And now I hear something in the water. Are we good? Kelvin, there you are. You're still just... Still just taking your day off? Is that what we're doing? <gasps> there you are. You have no helmet, though. <laughs> so how does that feel, bud? He's also gonna give me more spears. Nice. Anyone else? We all good? It was just like a little assassin party. Those- Jesus Christ, that lady was crazy! She was doing flips and shit, but it reminds me of those movie sequences where, like, someone rolls up and they're like, I know Muay Thai, and then they do, like, a whole bunch of flips and shit and jump at you and try to kick you in the head, and then you just shoot him. So that's what I did. I just shot him. But yeah, they really didn't like me going into their caves. Look at these guys, man. God damn. But I'm definitely gonna need some log storage. So that's what I'm gonna do real quick. Here we go. There's a large log storage. Not really sure how this is gonna work, but we need a lot of sticks. And I'm curious how many logs is gonna hold, because Kelvin has been working. Oh gosh. They're just mud people jumping tree to tree. Can you guys leave me alone for a day? Me and Kelvin would like a true day off for once. I don't know if that's possible. Can I call your boss or something? We just do like a little truce. Maybe we can start open communications with diplomacy? Maybe? Kelvin. Jesus Christ. Alright, bada bing, bada boom. And this holds 24 logs. Wow. Don't mind if I do. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with these yet. But I definitely want to hold on to them. Maybe our second floor? Maybe like a real roof? Maybe a little cute porch? To spend the mornings drinking my arm and leg stew. That'd be nice. Alright, Kelvin. You have been working real hard here, sir. And honestly... I think it's time... Uh, I think it's, uh, I think it might be, it might be... It might be time for you to take a break. Here you go. And he's happy about that. Yeah, take an actual break, Kelvin. I know I've been saying that it's your day off. And that's really just bait. Soak in those, those rays, man. Oops, sorry. Take in those rays, man. Just enjoy, enjoy a nice day off, man. Okay? I'm gonna head over to the TV station that they said is right next to my house. Oh, sweet Jesus, that's a big old boy. What is he doing just waltzing through my camp? Are we... 
Kelvin, I told you that... I told you that you were going to have a day off. And then all of a sudden... Oh, let's see if this works. Nope, he's a little too quick. Kelvin, yep, yeah, I see him, man. Good thing your log wall worked. Um, okay, let's... Oh, he just ran into it. We might be good. I'm just going to kind of dance around this a little bit. Kelvin, watch out. Kelvin. Okay, Kelvin's dying. That guy lost his leg. Oh, I'm just going to leave you there for a minute. While I deal with your buddies. They really are upset with me now. Kelvin, get up, you little bitch. Come on. Day off is over. Back to work. That guy got his leg chopped off. I saw another guy up here, but he might have seen his friend's leg get chopped off and his other friend get headshot. And that might have been enough for them to back off. Kelvin, you don't look too good, man. You don't look too good at all. I know how we fix that. We fix that with a new look. Mm-hmm. Yep, thumbs up indeed. You should heal up real fine wearing that cute leather jacket you got there. My dude is parched and hungry. And then, we're gonna make our way over to this weird TV station that they put next to my house. What am I hearing? Hello? What is going on? Are you overhearing? You're crying for this guy? No. 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 Nobody cries for a big guy. Okay? You are not going home to tell them what has happened here. No. 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 And that's the other one I was looking for. I didn't know she was going to come back, though. She definitely came back. She almost got hit by this thing again, too. I need more of these things. Those are convenient. Seems to be getting a little darker than normal. And fill this guy up. There we go. Oh my god, there's another lady up here? What is she doing? What are you up to? Oh, that's a big bitch. Ain't it? Does she want anything to... Hello? What do you want? You just showed up to do a little jiggle dance and then... Get headshot? I don't like this, though. They're really starting to just, like, wander into my camp. Not good. Not good at all. Before I was rudely interrupted. Here we go. Slap that on there. Do a little cooksey. And I need to add some sticks to that. It's definitely not enough. Um, hmm. What are we cooking today? A little mushroom stew. Don't mind if I do. I don't really have anything to cook. At all, actually. Oh no. Um, might be might be an MRE day. It might be. Uh, grab one of those. Don't mind if I do. And then uh, we're just gonna boil that water, shall we? Put a little leaves in it. And there we go. Just boil up that water. I'm thirsty. So this is. Supposedly, a TV station or something. I got the location of this on that laptop at the beginning of the last cave. So I am very curious. Is there gonna be evil stuff? Whoa. Into a hallway. hallway goes left as well. <gasps> oh my god. I'm right next to the 3D printer? I don't remember this being here. Solar panel, some light bulbs. We can get lights going in our house now. What's going on in these guys? You got duct tape in this stupid place? Look at this. Yeah, so we can actually 3D print some stuff. Meshes, sleds, GPS cases, a Tim LeBlanc parallel universes and travel between them book. An in-depth study of the connections between our universe and the many others. That looks like the son of the forest. A little bit. Remember the name Tim. Timmy the Kid. Some more ink cartridges, a few other things. 
This would be very good for making armor and also arrows. The arrows in here, believe it or not, are very nice. We can print those now. And of course, make this very serious armor with a nice bulge. Not too shabby. But this doesn't explain how they were saying this is a TV station, right? That's what they said it was? Or like a broadcasting station? What in the hell? Hello? Very rich looking purses. Some tools. Okay, well, this looks like what I saw through the wall. So that... could be a problem. Some more money. Can I open this? Oh, blue key card. I don't have that yet. All right. Creepy little hallway. I will be back. Don't you worry. We have the printer now. And a Roomba. Can I break the Roomba? Oh. Poor Roomba. It was my only friend. Now I'm just stuck with Kelvin. God damn it. Oh, hey there, Kelvin. You didn't hear what I just said, did you? I don't think you did, because you're deaf. And have internal brain bleeding. Oh, sweet. Lord Jesus. I'm just out here exploring, and you're just gonna do that to me? Oh, I just peed myself. God damn, brother. How many of these guys are around here? I'm just trying to check some caves and see what I need next. And I'm just getting absolutely stalked down. I think there might be a village nearby. That might be why. Not good. Got a little hunting party following me. How's that feel, buddy? Oh, we're just landing them. One in the leg. One in the head. Okay, that didn't even stick in you. Must have armor. Here we go. Okay, I was trying to estimate where you were going, and then you didn't. Need your head. Are you good? Is there any campfires around me or something? I need to clear these guys out. This isn't good. Hello? Is there a camp nearby? Kelvin's down here doing something. Oh, Kelvin might have found the camp. Hi, Kelvin. He's just... There's just a bunch of cannibals chasing him, it looks like. Is there? No. Where is Kelvin? It says he's here. Did you get captured, Kelvin? Kelvin. You over here getting murdered? That's not good. Oh, gosh. These guys are armored. Oh, goodness. They're climbing all the trees. I hope they have duct tape. That's what I need. I need more duct tape. Some printer ink. Just gonna, like, kind of steal some stuff under their noses. Like a C4 brick. God damn. Anything up in the tower? Can we go up there and fight them? I could. I'm gonna see what's in their crates. Some food and some coins. Alright. Is it about to be showtime, mother truck? Oh! I put on the fighting music. Here we go. We didn't start the fire. Oh, he just blocked that. Oh, you just broke your thingy, dude. Okay, that bounced right off your skull. Not good. Okay. Um, maybe we break that first. Oh gosh. Oh my god, they're just dodging left and right. I don't want to use the pistol here. Pistol is in case of emergencies. Oh god, who's behind me? This might be an emergency. Oh Jesus. I'm gonna go in the water. Do they swim? That's the question. I doubt they know how to swim. I gotta turn this. There's like three of them playing. Turn off. There we go. Need to hear myself think a little bit. Hear myself think and hear the fires burning. Okay. You know? Maybe we need to burn the thing first before we make the stupid joke. Like you, right there. Okay, and you're just gonna dodge it, huh? I might be burning down your forest a little bit here, dude. Kelvin, get up. You stinky fricker. There you go. Dumb idiots. Oh, okay. Yep, I might just be burning down the entire forest. As long as it gets these guys to stop following me around everywhere. There you go. 
How's that feel up there? Oh, okay, I hit you midair, and then... Now you're down and out. You gotta put your titties away, man. Put them away. Put them away. Put them away. Uh. And... Okay, I missed. You're lucky. But not lucky for long. Give me that back. Are we good? I think there's a couple more, but they might be a little scared. But yet again... I am not seeing... Any duct tape. Where's Kelvin now? Kelvin's running home. Thank the Lord. That guy is just a nuisance. Oh god. Oh god. Did I kick that? We're good? I think all is good in the hood. I see that guy up there. But I think he doesn't want any. But I just killed his whole family. Home sweet home. So the plan with these logs is going to be a bit of a perimeter fence. We can't just have them keep wandering in on us in the middle of the night. So that's the plan. The raccoons have come to show that they are not worthy. I gotta chop this guy up a little bit down into a few pieces. We're gonna use these as little stumps to put our wood across on. Whoa! Didn't mean to do that. And what I'd like to do is actually have the traps on the outside of the perimeter fence. Because when they get locked up on the fence, they're going to run into the trap. So there we go. We're just going to put that right there. And then we should be able to put that right there. And that's what we're going to use. I know it's obviously not very tall, but it's enough for them to have to jump over. And it might just track them into that guy right there, which would be a wonderful thing. Here we go. I'm going to place that there. Hi, Calvin. I'm glad you made it back. You may have brought company, though, if you want to turn around real quick. There is a person up there. Kelvin, do not walk into the trap. I swear to God. There you go. It's definitely not Kelvin proof. I'll tell you that much. And it seems like I pretty much always get attacked from this side. So the perimeter, just to kind of funnel things into the traps. Maybe I'll make another one of these. Probably not a bad idea. Maybe some more shell bouncers. I'm going to have to go hunt some turtles, though. And that actually will help me do a rainwater collector. Look at my cute little wall. It should keep some stuff out. We can also layer it as well. We can put, like, just, like, another log on it like this. That's probably our best bet. Have something to fight over, you know? I think they can still climb this. Yep, they definitely still can if Kelvin can. But like I said, the ultimate thing is... Oh, Virginia. Virginia's here. <gasps> Virginia. Um, I need to put away my weapon. A cross. Maybe she'll like the cross. Hello, Virginia. Do you want to be my friend yet? Nope. She doesn't quite want to be my friend yet. Kelvin, you scared her away. You scared her away, Kelvin. You need to work on your people-pleasing. Oh, gosh. Speaking of people-pleasing, that's a big old boy. I guess we could test our wall. No, you leave Virginia. No, nope, you're pointing at Virginia. Why are you pointing at Virginia? Nope, you leave Virginia alone. That should hurt. That should hurt him a little bit. Maybe he'll back off. Maybe I save Virginia here and then she likes me finally? Oh, he just took that fire off of him with the water. Who are you pointing at now? Point at me, mother trucker. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're pointing at the wrong person. I'm gonna do another one of those. I'm gonna pull those out of your head real quick. I'm just gonna let you stand up and then do it again. You down and out yet, man? There we go. Float down the river. He's also got a pouch that I should open, and that pouch is now floating down the river. Virginia, I've saved you. Do you like me now? Oh god. Mud person. Mud people a little bit easier than the big old boy. 
Back to the cross, back to the cross. Maybe Virginia doesn't like the cross either, though. Kelvin, where is she? She's gone. Just like that. So I did all that for nothing. Well, I guess I kept Kelvin alive. That's fine. Let's keep working on our little wall here. Wait, there she is. Virginia. I saved you. Are we friends now? <gasps> Wait, she's bringing me stuff. She has blueberries in her hands. She's starting to bring me stuff. I'm gonna see if she'll come to me. Nighttime's coming, Virginia, and I did just piss off an entire village. So things might get a little crazy tonight. You might not want to be around for that. She seems to be, like, kind of slowly approaching. She's not afraid of me. Can I come and grab this? Hello, Virginia? Hello? Can I take those? I'm gonna let her approach me. It's like a stray dog. You don't want to scare it. Hello? Can I have those blueberries, please? No, don't waddle backwards. See, I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna back up. All is good. I'm not gonna move. Kelvin, you're scaring her. Little creep. I don't like those sunglasses on Kelvin. Scary. Virginia? Hi, Kelvin. Hello, yeah. Something wrong with your ear, right? Can I... Maybe have those blueberries? <gasps> Thank you. I didn't pick them up, but now I'm gonna eat them. Maybe maybe she she's happy that I ate them. I'm gonna grab those, though. Alright, so slowly but surely... She's getting happier with us. And slowly but surely, night is approaching. Time to sleep. Let's see if they retaliate tonight. Yep, they're retaliating. Oh, and they retaliated on the other side of my walls. Okay, no, you're not allowed in my house. No. Not with a lit torch. That's my only rule. Is that you don't use lit torches in my home. And they all have torches. Okay, and they're hitting my walls. Give me this torch. Okay, where's our trap? I'm gonna jump over here and see if I can bait him into the trap. Yep, they're jumping over it. There we go. It swung at least. Now let's see if I can kind of bait him down the edge of the wall like planned. You guys just beating on my house over there? I hit him in the legs. Try to stun him out a little bit. Oh god, I'm taking damage. And this guy's just smacking my house. This is not good. Not good. Leave Kelvin alone. Okay, I missed. Oh god. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay, this is a lot. This is a lot. This is a lot. Oh my god. Definitely was not prepared for that. Where am I waking up? Hello? Oh no. I'm hung up in their camp. I can't... I can't see if they're around. I don't think they're around. I don't hear them. I think they're still at my camp. I'll cut myself down real quick. That sounds like a bunny or something. Grab my bag full of stuff. And I'm just going to slowly back up into the woods. Wow. We're going to need a lot more defenses. Painkillers ready to go. I need a sodi. My dude is starving. Thirsty. Might be a, a double sodi type of night. Drink 50 of those suckers now. An MRE. Okay, herein lies the problem. How are we going to retake our base? I feel like that was probably an emergency situation with the pistol. I'm gonna turn that off. How far away? So where do these guys live? Yeah, they're the ones that live right up from my house. Of course they are. I'm heading home, Kelvin. Oh, Jesus Christ. Kelvin, I'm heading home. I'm gonna leave the mud people alone because they might come and help me. They don't like the cannibals any more than I do. Okay, it looks like they might be moving on back to base. And they're gonna be very surprised that I cut myself down. Kelvin's alive. 
Virginia is also alive. And seems like they may have left me alone. Besides this little mud person right here that's eating all this rotten meat that I left on the ground. Okay. I... The, the wall didn't work, obviously. I might have to bring this wall in a little closer. Everything good, Kelvin? I'm gonna have to bring the wall in closer, and we need more traps. This isn't gonna cut it, unfortunately. Try to sleep through the night again? Yeah, okay, so they left me alone for now. But honestly, this camp needs some serious improvements. It is not safe here anymore. I mean, not that it ever was, but it's less safe now. It's time to get to work. I'm curious if we leave gaps in the fence. Maybe we can funnel them into some traps. I'm probably going to need to go three high with the fence. And maybe, like, scoot it in behind my house from right here and bring it all the way around. So that way we're a bit safer. I'm going to leave this gap open because we have the bounce trap there. Seems like a good idea. And they always come from this hill. So maybe some traps up there wouldn't be a bad idea either. Kelvin, I know you had a horrible day off of just constantly dying. But I'm definitely going to need some logs, man. We're going to need a lot of logs if we're going to be safe here. I'm just going to bring this all the way to the edge. I think I'm going to put a door here. This will be our entrance and exit to this outer wall here. Slowly scraping through all these extra logs Kelvin's got. I think three high should be enough. I guess we'll be able to test it in one of these upcoming nights. To see if they can climb three high. Really hope they can't. And this is where I wanted to go ahead and place down a door of some kind. Let's do that into that. Maybe do something like that. Honestly, there might be just a better door location than this, to be honest. I like a whole back door exit. But, like, at the end of the day... I could always just set up a nice little ramp, so that way it's a one-way. But for now, that'll just have to do. They're not really attacking me from that side. It's mainly from over here. On this hillside. There we go. A little piece of the puzzle, but a bing Look at that. There's no way they're climbing over that, right? There's no way! I'm gonna leave this open. Like I said, I might put a, like, a little trap here or something. I just don't see them navigating to this, and if they do, at least we have a little bit of a... a spot to fight them from. And then I was thinking, it wouldn't be... the absolute worst idea... to have this be something that I can, like, stand on, maybe? Maybe I could just do something like this. In the corner. Build up the sides and get, like, a little bit of a tower to fight in when they attack me. I need Kelvin to bring me more logs, though. I am burning through them. You want something done, you gotta do it yourself. And that's what we're doing. Here we go. I could always do a little dam in the water. Start chopping trees into the river. That is a nice way to actually gather logs. Here we go. Remove the corner. I'm gonna place a full post. So the corners are gonna be full posts. That's what we need to remember for the rest of this wall build we have going on here. There we go. I'm going to break this down real quick. And I know that we can place these logs vertically and then chop the tips. But it just doesn't feel as efficient as a wall. That might just flood them in, you know what I mean? What I want to do now... I want just this to be... Essentially, just a nice tall frame in the corner. There we go. And it's still gonna be... 
A nice wall. Of course. What are you pointing at, Kelvin? We got some people coming in. They're just mud people. Don't worry about mud people, Kelvin. And we can do this just to fill in these sides. There we go. Beautiful. Just like that. And now the wall attaches to this little cube in the corner. Good job, Kelvin. Keep picking those suckers up. Beautiful. And just like this, we have ourselves a nice little corner platform to fight one. To fight one? To fight all of them when they come. And then I'm gonna... What the f... So the mud people are wearing... Cave armor now? What in the hell? They're progressing a little bit. I don't like that. That's not good. Because if the cave people... Or the mud people start becoming a problem... That's a whole nother tribe to deal... Ooh! It's a whole nother tribe to deal with. But I am curious to bring them in and see... If they jump over the walls or not. So you, armored boy, can you come test my walls for me? They want nothing to do with my walls, apparently. I mean, I can jump straight over them. So maybe cannibals can too? I don't know. I feel like Kelvin's going around them. Yeah, I see him, Kelvin. I see all of them. And I'm really pissed that they're armored up now. That's not good. Here we go. I'm gonna kill you real quick. Is that going to piss off your friends and bring them to my house so I can test my walls? I think they're a little too smart. They're like dumb smart. They won't come near me because they're dumb. Oh my god, there is so many of them. He's eating his friend. Quit it! Quit eating your friend. Okay, yeah, they're, they're kind of pissed now. But they won't come anywhere near my house. That's fine. I guess I'll just keep working. Gonna need a half log for this wall. There we go. So I can grab this guy, just toss that over there. Kelvin, yeah, I know, I see them. It really sucks because Kelvin won't work while these dudes are running around. He's too afraid of them. Yeah, I know, Kelvin. All is good, Kelvin. They're pussies. They're not going to do nothing. Okay, now there's one flanking me. Alright, we might have to actually deal with this now. They are just circling. Kelvin's not working. There's like 20 of them, man. It's time to show him what's up. How about a little bit of stun gun action? You guys like to move around a little too much. And it's time to stop that. Reload. There we go. Hey, no. You leave Kelvin alone. You're all stunned out now. This is where I finish it. This is how you take out the armored mud people the easiest, it seems like. You just knocked out Kelvin? Really, dude? Leave Kelvin alone. Please. You have no armor. You're useless. You are not running away from with my spirit. Nope. Ouch. Well, there goes a bunch of my HP. They are definitely getting stronger. Do not want to get killed by a mud person. One off, it's embarrassing. And two, I don't know where I'm going to wake up. If I get killed by a mud person. Kelvin, get up. We're going to deal with these guys together. Here we go. He's rather low. They might run away now. He's crossing the river to get out of here. But they're starting to get armor. <sighs> yeah, we need, uh... We need the wall. We need the wall. Stat. There we go. We're gonna place that there. Cut that. Nice little trim. Beautiful. I'm getting this wall over here to actually reach the edge. There we go. We do that here. Do this here. 
And then we just need to put some wood frames on that puppy. And we are more than good to go. Alright dudes, you're really starting to get on my nerves. Kelvin can't chop trees and bring them to me. And I know you guys aren't much of the problem. The nearby tribes are the problem. So I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt and not shooting you in the faces. Even though I'd really like to. And this could actually be my little secret exit. No, I can't crouch underneath that, so cannibals shouldn't be able to either. Maybe mud people can. We could put some spikes there, that's no problem. But with just one more log, our wall is basically complete. I don't really have a test for it yet, but in the following night, we might be able to test it and see how that goes. Hello there. Yes, run away. I will murder all of you one day. <laughs>